I'm Ashley Afonso here with head volleyball coach Linda Sagnelli. Coach, before we talk about this weekend, CCSU Blue Devils Invitational, let's go back to last weekend at Dartmouth. Sure. You dropped the first two sets to Grand Canyon, mm -hmm. but then rallied to go on and win the match. Was that a turning point for your team? Absolutely. Grand Canyon beat us pretty easily in set one and set two. In set three, we just came to life. And it got to the point where they were up and serving for match point. And I thought we, we showed a lot of mental toughness in that. We tied the game again, and then we went after it and won by two. In the fourth set, we came out just to take the game. We found our rhythm, which we didn't have at all whatsoever. I think we left it on the bus. All of a sudden, it was there, and we started playing with confidence. So once that got added to the whole mix, it seemed like we could control the tempo. We actually switched the defense that we were playing, because Grand Canyon is one of the smartest teams that we've ever played. They had one of the best liberos that we've ever seen, but they were smart. I felt like we were playing a team full of beach players. They were just putting the ball where we weren't. So we switched our defense, one that we don't work on all that much in practice, and the kids just understood it right from the get-go, and it was phenomenal. And they were hitting the ball right to us then. So it made things a little easier. We transitioned very well. And then in the fifth, we went up 8-3 at the switch. All of a sudden, they went on a point run, and now we're looking up at them. They were up 11-9. And we sided out, I called timeout, we sided out, we went on a point run, it was 14, they sided out to 12, and then we got the final point. Absolutely, it was a lot of teachable moments also, because we were as down as down could be. They were serving for match point, we came all the way back, played another hour and 10 minutes of volleyball, and wound up winning in the end. So it, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal match. Okay. And you have a lot of young players on your team, how much of a learning curve is there this season? There is a little bit of a learning curve. Um, However, they're bright players. They have a high volleyball IQ. That helps tremendously when we're trying to teach them things on the court because they understand the why behind everything that we're saying. So this past weekend had a lot of teachable moments. We realized that we need to be able to have that defense to go to. We have to be able to really firm up our block. And also our freshmen have to understand that you can't always go up and swing for a kill. You have to have shots. And you know what? Grand Canyon taught that to them better than anything I could say because they were phenomenal at placing the ball where we weren't. So we used that match as a, as a real teachable moment. Um, and I think from the weekend we learned a lot and we've been working on practice all week on eye sequencing. So that means reading off the first pass that the other team has and not get caught ball watching because if you're ball watching, you don't know what the player is going to do with the ball. So we've been working all week on eye sequencing and I hopefully we'll see the results of that this weekend. Okay, great. And moving ahead to this weekend, mm -hmm. first home matches of the season. What are your oh, expectations? I'm just happy to be home. We've yeah. been on the road, which has all been, all been great. Um, but it, there's nothing like playing at home. So the team is really excited. Our expectations, you know, our goal is to win our tournament. Um, our goal is to win every single game that, that we're in. With the work that we've put in um, all week long on our weaknesses, we're hoping to make those our strengths. And then we'll see what happens. But rhythm is so important in the game of volleyball. And... We did not have a good practice yesterday. We had a much better one today. So hopefully we keep that going into the weekend. And I expect good things this weekend. All right, good luck. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.